Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the eBay business. Just wanted to give a quick little shout out to my second channel. I'm going to be producing news related slash gaming related videos on there. So if you guys are interested, feel free to click on that link down below. So today we sold a polo. Let's go grab that real quick. All right, it is just hanging up over here. So this is a polo that I actually had and I previously wore a decent amount and I decided I didn't want to wear this polo anymore so I thought why not just throw it up on eBay and see what we could do with it. So I sold this polo for $5.99 with the buyer paying shipping so easy $5 profit because I don't remember what I actually spent on this and I got a lot of wear out of this polo so pretty sweet deal. All right so we're going to be packaging this shirt I have with me one of my very large poly bags. I'm just gonna throw the shirt in after I fold it. So obviously first step, I'm gonna try and make it look pretty presentable for when the buyer opens the package and they receive their new polo. Like I mentioned before, I am not the best at folding clothing, but I'm going to give it my very best shot in the hopes that the buyer doesn't realize that the person that's shipping has no idea how to fold shirts. So let me just do that, do that. And I would say that is a pretty nicely folded polo. So I'm gonna take this and just obviously throw it into the poly bag. As I'm moving forward with the eBay business, I'm finding that it's a lot easier to ship clothing in addition to a bunch of smaller items. So I might branch out and grab a lot more clothing in the near future and that might be what I'm gonna try to focus on selling on eBay because there's so many different brands of clothing and people always need clothing. Now, the profit margin for the clothes might not be as great. Like I might buy the clothes for like two to four dollars a piece and then be able to sell it for like 10 or $12 with the buyer paying shipping. So probably like a $5 profit off of each item which i'm perfectly okay with if i sell a couple of those a week and in addition to maybe some electronic item or a multi-tool or a utility knife so i'm perfectly okay with the smaller profit items uh, as long as i'm able to have a large volume of them which i'm able to sell a large volume which we'll, we'll see i'm definitely experimenting as I go along because when I first started the eBay business, I had a lot of electronics. Now I'm switching over to multi-tools in addition to clothes. So gonna be picking up a lot more clothes in the near future and starting to post those in upcoming months. So let's see how that works out. All right, let's finish up packing this bad boy. Boom. Just like that. We have our nice little package. And again, I love packing clothes. It's so easy to ship. Definitely first class is most clothes. So they usually cost anywhere from like three to $5 to ship, depending on where I'm shipping it to. So gonna be printing the shipping label and throwing it in the mailbox. So another thing that we sold this week, more, more actually my wife, she was able to sell something to a coworker. This coworker was mentioning that he needed a VCR because all of his home movies were VHS tapes and he no longer had a VCR. So he was wondering where he could get one. And my wife was like, hey, my husband sells VCRs. So I sold him a Sony VCR. It cost me around seven to nine dollars around that range it was a vcr with a remote so it was one of the more higher end ones that's been sitting in my store for a while and obviously wanted to give him the friend discount so we sold it to him for uh, about 25 dollars almost a 20 dollar profit but again it was to a friend and didn't really want to make the maximum amount of profit from him, but you know was able to make an easy flip there and a friend now has a vcr all right, so very excited about this sale that we just got. Let me just go grab it. Here it is. This bag should work. All right. So we finally sold this vintage airbrush, the one that was 
untested and we already sold one of these early in one of the earlier episodes so we picked both of them up for two to three dollars and i sold the first one for i think about fifty dollars and selling the second one for thirty five dollars with the buyer paying shipping so a lot of profit has been made off of just these two simple little things so when you don't know what something is definitely just take a chance and to try to look it up I just saw like there was a model number in one of these, decided to look it up and they were selling for a decent amount on eBay. So don't overlook the things that you know nothing about. All right, first thing I wanna do is wrap this in this foam-like material. We're just gonna flip it over a couple of times. Let's see here. One, two, go at it like that. Keep folding it. And then, when it's properly packaged up like that and protected, I'm just gonna try throwing it in this little box here. And then we're just gonna try to close it up. I mean, at this point, it's gonna be a little tight. That's quite all right, as long as it is protected from the outside elements. I don't think the buyer will really mind. We're just gonna use this as an extra layering of protection to keep it all together. And there we go, so we have this packaged up in this box, not moving whatsoever. Do a little bit of tape, just like that. All right, so this thing is definitely not opening, doing anything like that. So we're just gonna put the bottom in at the bottom, like so. Just like that, we have our package. So quick little shot with you guys. As of recently, I have not had a lot of time to go out sourcing. I also have a decent amount on my death pile that I actually should list. And at this point, I my eBay profile is getting really close to top rated seller status, I believe. And once I hit that point, I believe I get a couple benefits. For example, my listings will rank higher in search in addition to I do believe I get some sort of discount on the final value fee so that's gonna be pretty awesome I do believe you get the features for selling I think over a hundred items within the last 12 months in addition to a certain threshold I think that threshold might be a thousand dollars within the last 12 months I'm not too sure but if you just google like top rated seller status requirements it will be there I just don't know the requirements right off the top of my head. So very excited at this point. I've been selling on eBay since February of this year. So seven years worth or seven months of experience at this point and I'm only gonna be ramping up the eBay business within the upcoming months. I still have that exam that I mentioned before that I'm gonna be taking in October that's why I haven't really been able to dedicate a lot of time into the eBay business in addition to having my new baby nephew so I've been spending a lot of time with family in addition to preparing for the exam but as soon as the exam is over I want to focus more on the YouTube channel in addition to my second channel and of course the eBay business so Things are still gonna be slow for a little while as the exam date comes even closer. So I hope you guys could bear with me and understand why the sales have been really slow lately. Just There's a lot of changes going on in my life and I just have to take it as is and realize what is what takes priority over the eBay business and the YouTube channel, obviously. But I do very much care about the YouTube channel and the eBay business. I've just been throwing in a bunch of random videos into the mix that deals with like financial topics. And I definitely wanna keep those types of videos going. Like this channel is dedicated to helping you make and save money, so. Continue to look forward to those videos if you guys have enjoyed those thus far. And ultimately, I am trying to build this YouTube channel to set it up for like a long-term vlog series. Like I'm gonna be keeping the eBay business in addition to a vlog series for when the wife and I have kids. So I just wanna be able to document a lot of what's going on in my life onto this YouTube channel. And obviously, finances is always gonna play a factor into my life, which is why I wanted to focus on some financial re related content in addition to the eBay business and the soon to be vlog series. So 
that's why you guys are seeing a variety of content. I just don't don't only want to be focused on reselling on eBay. Of course, I'll always have a de video dedicated every week to eBay. In the future, it could just mix in with the vlog series. I'm not too sure how I'll do that yet, but I'll at least do a dedicated like what sold on eBay series. I might just implement the day-to-day -day, like, oh, I sold this in like the vlog series. Like I mentioned, I might do like every two to four days, I'll make like one vlog. I'm not too sure how I feel about that yet, but in case you guys wanted to get on more of like what's going on in my personal life, feel free to let me know in the comment section below.